know about this whole thing. I mean, we're jumping the gun a little talking to insurance agents. Don't you find this to be somewhat wrong at all? Well, we're not playing God or anything. We're just trying to ensure that our baby is healthy. This is important. We have to get rid of that genetically defective disease. I still don't know. We should not interfere in God's creation to upset the consequence and the balance of the creation. Are there some things that today we would maybe put in the category of a birth defect? Are some of those things really the, the tools out of which God continues to help us evolve as people? We believe that God created us in the best manner and we are in good shape. Any change of this won't help or won't make us any better. I guess I'll say one of the one of the dangers I think of genetic interventions that it in, encourages the view that genes are us, um, that that we are sort of at our core, nothing but our genes. Well, how do we know what it is God is going to produce out of this thing that we now call either unusable? or defective. We don't know yet. So the more we can help people understand that genes aren't us, that genes are only one vector um, in a very complicated um, uh, intersection of cause and effect that leads to the people that we are. Uh, the way we are is beautiful and the diversity and the different styles and things all of this, it comes in a very good spectrum. How do you know that, first of all, something may not be right, or secondly, that your life wouldn't evolve in such a way that that would be a huge blessing or a huge opportunity for you or for your family? Yeah, they're important, but they're by no means the only important thing or even the most important thing. Now, wait just a second. Are we even sure that this is going to work? I mean, are we really going to save humanity through genetic engineering? Is this really the cure-all? Well, that's what it says in the article, and we had taken it from a guy named John Joe. What could go wrong? I mean, not only are we going to help cure the human race, but we're going to have our nice, perfect baby as well. That sounds a little far-fetched to me. I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, didn't you remember, like, in biology classes and organismal biology and evolutionary biology and that sort of thing in college. Don't you remember those classes I'm talking about? It? I mean, I don't think this is possible. And I think what, what McFadden is saying is that what we're allowing to have happen is we're allowing what we would call deleterious mutations to accumulate in human populations. You can model this in a very straightforward way using simple population genetic principles. If we take a population with 10 individuals, and let's say that all of these individuals have a single locus, and there are two alleles at that locus, and all of these alleles are big A's. And the question is, what happens if we allow one of these to mutate, ends up mutating to A star? And the question becomes, what happens to this population after a number of generations? What's the probability that A star is going to go to fixation? What we mean by going to fixation, what's the probability that after a certain amount of time, every single one of these is A star? This has to happen over a number of generations. So that maybe after a hundred generations or after a thousand generations, what's the probability that all of the alleles in this population, instead of being A's, will now be these A stars? And it turns out that this probability of fixation does have a finite value. And this finite value is 1 over 2n, where n is the population size. We have 1 over 20, which equals 5% chance that this particular allele will go into fixation in this population. So if the population was only was 100 individuals, then that probability would be 0.5%. But he's right in the sense that we can allow things that at one point would have been detrimental to accumulate, and it's possible that biotechnology can help to alleviate some of these um, perceived deficiencies. Will we save humanity by getting this gene out of there? I don't think so. It's 
about time for Jenna's insulin. Well, you know how full this time? Yeah, let's go.